Hello everyone, this is Austin from Raw Bliss. I wanted to make a video about weak teeth um, in conjunction with a fruitarian diet or a fruit-based diet. People often will, you know, put those two together. Um, I think there's like something about people who are drawn to a fruitarian diet who are already very uh, neglectful when it comes to their oral hygiene or just a hygiene in general, to be honest. <laughs> and um, I used to be one of these, you know, kind of hippies. Um, the first year I was a fruitarian, I didn't even brush my teeth. And, um, you know, I wouldn't even shower, um, all this crazy stuff. Um, which is fine, you know, if you want to live, uh, by yourself and, uh, you know, stuff like that, you know, do what you, do what you will, you know, I'm not, I'm not hating on anybody, you know, do, do your thing, live the, live the natural thing of a thing of a jigger. But, um, you know, if you want to live in the real world, you got to make, um, some compromises. If you want to have like a legitimate job. And, uh, you know, get somewhere, be somebody, uh, if you will, then, um, you know, you got to shower. And um, your oral hygiene, that's very important. You don't want to lose your teeth. You don't want your gums to start bleeding, gingivitis, all this stuff. Um, so I think people already neglect their teeth who come into the fruitarian diet. You know, they're not brushing twice a day. They're not, you know, rinsing their mouth out, stuff like that. But also, there's other factors in a fruitarian diet, of course, which is um, the acids in the fruits. Um, if you're eating a lot of acidic fruits, those are going to weaken your enamel, of course. And um, if you're eating unripe fruits, there's going to be a lot more acids uh, in the fruits. And also, oops, let me turn on Do Not Disturb. People are messaging me. Um, also, the starches. So if you're eating a lot of starchy fruits, which are unripe fruits, um, don't do that. Let your bananas get spotty. Uh, only eat pineapple when it's fully yellow. Don't eat no green pineapple. And juicing. Uh, juicing is another thing. Um, obviously, those are concentrated acids, and we don't have fiber to buffer um, that food then um, you're just like drowning your teeth in that those acids and that's um that's not good you know and also an eating window can be helpful if you're constantly eating throughout the day and you're not waiting at least three hours between meals then your enamel is not going to have a chance to to build back it takes three hours for the enamel to build back on your teeth. And um, so that's important to wait three hours between uh, fruit meals. And then um, also eating greens, eating vegetables, celery is great at cleaning the teeth. Um, eating that, make sure eat a lot of like alkalizing fruits and vegetables. And that's gonna alkalize your teeth and your saliva in general. And when you have an alkaline saliva, and it's constantly bathing your teeth in that, and that's going to be good. Mouth breathing. Don't mouth breathe. Ever. Ever. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's a little extreme. Um, but try to minimize mouth breathing whenever possible. Uh, it dries out your, your mouth and your teeth, and they're not going to, um, the enamel's not going to be able to grow as effectively when you're mouth breathing. And it's just acidic in general, breathing through the mouth. N nose breathing is alkalizing to the body. Um, so make sure to keep this in mind. Um, be aware of all the acidic fruits you're eating. Try and minimize them. Um, try and stick to, you know, sweet fruits mostly. Subacid fruits are great. Subacid means low acid fruits like apples, berries. Rambutan, longan, stuff like that. Um, 
And if you're going to eat acidic fruits, make sure that they're fully ripe. And, um, you know, don't go crazy on the juicing. Because the thing about juicing is, like, especially if you're doing, like, a juice cleanse or whatever, you're probably drinking them constantly every hour, every two hours. Um, you know, it's, it's damaging your enamel. It's absolutely damaging your enamel. Um, you can use a straw to try and mitigate that. I just think that's kind of silly. I just try and stick to what's um, what's natural. And uh, just eat some freaking fiber, bro. Like, why are people so afraid of fiber? It's not like... <laughs> like, our, our disposition, our gut thrives on fiber, on a high-fiber diet. So, uh, yeah, get that in you. Get some uh, healthy fats. Eat some... Get some mature coconut meat, chew on that. It's really good for the teeth. Make sure you're crunching and you're using the jaw muscles to mas macerate your, your food properly. Um, it's really good for your teeth. Salads, you know, eat some crunchy stuff. Don't, don't just eat the super soft, like easy, like stuff that's not good for your teeth. And some people only drink juices and smoothies. Don't do that. It's not good for your teeth. Okay, let's see. What else? Just get the minerals in you. The minerals in the in the vegetables. If you can go somewhere that has high quality fruits, do that. But make sure you're eating greens, if especially if you're not in one of those places that has high mineral content fruits, um, because that's extremely important to get the minerals in your body. Um, there's things that leach minerals out of your body, like um, ejaculating. Um, that's one thing that is literally pulling calcium out of your body. Also, smoking is robbing your body of iron and obviously not good for the teeth, um, so you can stop that. And also, vitamin D, get that in you. If you don't live in a place that has a lot of sunlight, you can, you can store it in your body long term. If you go there for like a few months out of the year, maybe, you go somewhere that has a lot of sunlight, do it. Get it while you can. If not, then supplement, you know. Do whatever you got to do. Get the vitamin D. Eat some mushrooms. Mushrooms have vitamin D in them. Stuff like that, you know. Um, so there's really, there's things we could do to minimize uh, the effects of these, you know, kind of supermarket unripe fruits. But ideally, eat ripe, high quality fruits. If you can't do that and you don't want to move somewhere where you can do that, then you might want to start implementing some uh, sweet potatoes, some some cooked foods, I guess. Um, I'm not really an expert in this field. I'm like fully raw. Um, I just don't think it's good if like if you're having teeth problems, you're you're lacking in minerals. Your your body's asking like for minerals. And like I said, the eating window. Uh, try and uh, you know stay hydrated. Drink water. Uh, that's going to help you a lot too, you know. I've also went through that phase, I don't need water, you know. Water's great. Drink some, uh, you know, distilled water, whatever you got. Reverse osmosis is fine. Um, I like distilled water. Um, urine therapy. If you're, if you're like, if you've got severe teeth problems, you can use urine therapy to, uh, you know, heal and to remineralize those teeth there's also things like colloidal silver and um, stuff like that you can use to mineralize the teeth and get back to your proper state just be aware when you got stuff on your teeth you know rinse your mouth out with some water if you just had some uh, I don't know something that stuck to your teeth some dates maybe now, dates are not bad for your teeth, you guys. And, you know, these fruits are not bad for your teeth. It's just that people already have weak teeth. And then they go and eat crappy, dried fruits. Of course, it's, it's, it's not that the it's bad for your teeth. It's that your teeth are already lacking in minerals. And they're not strong because you don't chew and you don't crunch mineral-rich, alkalizing fruits and vegetables. Okay, so keep that in mind. Cucumbers, very high in silica. 
um, silica. There's also okra, great in silica, mucilaginous uh, vegetables. They're um, very high in silica, which is good for the bones. Um, so it's just things like this, you know. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, hope this video helped anybody that it needed to. It's always my goal here. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments below what you think. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe for more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace and love.